What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. I feel like honestly, I haven't picked up the camera, just talked to you guys and vlogged in a while because of all the travel I've been doing, the workout videos where I kind of went over my new split was me so, was more so me just sitting down and talking to the computer after those workouts. So I feel like today I'm just gonna take you guys through pretty much like a day in the life on the bulk, which we're currently going through. So yes, we are bulking. The last, I will say about two months have just kind of been recovery, just enjoying life post prep. And then as far as like traveling, stuff like that, hanging out with Maisie. Maisie, where are you? What are you doing over there? Oh, she might want to go outside. But yeah, today I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys along the ride for the day. Obviously, we're starting out with breakfast. Looks like Maisie wants to go outside. She just had her breakfast as well. Go outside. And it is still dark out because it is, um, yeah, still winter time, unfortunately. But it is what it is. So yeah, basically, I want to catch you guys up. The last couple months have been absolutely insane. Um, basically, I've been um, finished up prep at the beginning of November. I think my last show is like November 4th. And then immediately, um, not like went into a binge, but <laughs> had a lot, a lot of food the week following my prep, um, just because I was traveling um, to visit Katie and her family for Thanksgiving. Then my family and I went to London. We came back for I think like two weeks and went back to Spain. I uh, went to Madrid and Malaga. So when I'm traveling, obviously I'm gonna enjoy myself, especially post prep after nine months of pretty much restricting myself quite a bit. Um, so I had a lot of food there. Uh, obviously came home, then had Christmas. So went to Cleveland again, then back to Cincinnati. And then we went to actually New York um, literally three days ago. We just got back on Sunday, what's today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, so three days ago. So traveling has been um, kind of hectic. I didn't want to stress anything, so I didn't track when I traveled. But I did weigh myself this morning, last couple of days. I'm right around 170. Which I would say is pretty much almost exactly 20 pounds up. My low of prep was 148, and then I probably stepped on stage around 153, filled up um, or fueled up, you could call it. And then, so I would say my stage weight was probably around 153, so we're probably about 20 pounds up. And now we're gonna kind of keep pushing that number up actually. We're gonna go ahead and aim for about two to three pounds of weight gain per month moving forward. And then my idea is probably to maybe do like a cut around summertime or maybe in the like June, July range, because right now I want to heal my body build more muscle, grow, become a little bit less hungry because I still am hungry. Like I could devour an entire box of Pop-Tarts and not even think about it. But uh, yeah, I just wanna take you guys through the day, catch you guys up. Let's go ahead and whip up breakfast. I'll show you guys what we're eating. Just like that, breakfast is served. We've got two eggs, we've got one English muffin split in half, I threw that in the toaster. I will say this meal is typically four eggs and then two English muffins cut in half. But since we just came back from New York literally three days ago and I ate my way through New York, I'm gonna go ahead and relax a little bit on the breakfast for the next couple days just to make sure basically I kind of get my, not my diet under control because New York was fun, it was an absolute blast, I don't regret it, but I had a lot, a lot of food and I don't quite need as much right now as I will later in the week. So maybe I'll do a full day of eating, today's Wednesday, maybe I'll do it on Friday, that's my actual kind of bulking diet, close to 27, 2800 calories. Today I'm probably close to maybe 24, 25, but, but right now I'm basically taking my bulking diet and just pared down a little bit on a, in a few ways basically kind of uh, balancing out the trip to New York where once again, I ate like a king. But we also have a bell pepper on the side for some volume, some fruits and vegetables. That's a big thing too. I'm still trying to get as many fruits and vegetables as I can. Well, I said as many as I can, at least two servings of fruits and vegetables a day. At a minimum, vegetables are always right around two, but fruits sometimes be three or even four, depending on what I'm traveling. If I'm craving something, I'll just grab a piece of fruit, uh, an apple, an orange, banana, whatever I have hanging around. But yeah, this is breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead, eat this. Also very quick to whip up. It took me about, I think, literally exactly five minutes because all you have to do is cut an English muffin, cook some eggs, and then you're good to go. So keep things simple in the morning. I do, once again, enjoy my breakfast. I want to be able to enjoy it and eat it. And yeah, that's breakfast right there. And then I'll touch base with you guys once I'm done eating. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? Nothing? All right, and then real quick, I can't see myself. Okay, there we go. Um, so basically, I spend the vast majority of my day right here at this desk. I would say 90% of my day. I don't know what she's whining. What are you whining about? Everyone's gonna come down later. I, I wake up first. Um, but we got our desk set up right here, and that's where I spend 90% of my day just sitting at my desk. So as soon as I finish breakfast, I go for a quick little walk in the morning. Normally, I take Maisie outside, but it's really cold. It's also dark, so we're gonna head down to the treadmill and use our iPad and probably watch some Good Mythical Morning. Um, so basically, I try to walk about 30 minutes every morning. It's getting really, really dark here for a second, but bear with me. 
boom, boom. But yeah, so basically what I'll do, I'll have breakfast. Um, that's pretty quick in the morning. And I'll go ahead and hop on the treadmill just to walk. I'm not trying to run. I'm not trying to burn a bunch of calories for me. It's just more so the fact that I know I'm about to go sit at my desk for the next about probably four hours before I go train. I just need to get some movement in. And probably the first purchase when I do um, move, hopefully this summer, um, is get a treadmill or a standing desk. Oops, I didn't, <laughs> I meant to turn on that light. It didn't even turn on. There we go. Um, so yeah, that is one thing that I'm absolutely blessed with that I have a treadmill in the basement, um, but I highly recommend, I've seen like walking pads. I've already been like kind of figuring out my like dream office design lately and be like, oh, okay, this is what I want for the office. I want like this standing desk where I can put this walking pad underneath it because I just love getting steps in. I think that the 10,000 steps is like not, I don't want to say easy, but it's something that I personally have probably been doing for the last like probably seven years or so, getting at least 10,000 steps a day. Obviously a treadmill is extremely, extremely helpful. Or one of these, um, a perro, a little doggy. Those can be very helpful to get steps in as well. Um, but yeah, you just gotta plan it into your day. And for me, I get some steps in post breakfast. But yeah, we're gonna hop on the treadmill and then, yeah, basically we're gonna get to the computer, probably work for about four hours between editing, client check-ins, uh, cookbook 2.0 coming soon, hopefully spring of 2024. Just a lot of work on the computer. I like to start my day with some movement, so we're gonna hop on the treadmill and get to it. Just finished up the walk, did just under 30 minutes. Great way to start the day, get the body nice and warm. This is so cold out. So now we're gonna go ahead, sit down at the computer for a few hours. I'll touch base with you guys. Base, base, base with you guys before we head to the gym. I just got up to go to the bathroom and was looking for Maisie, and I found her all alone in the solarium curled up like a little croissant. What are you doing in here? All alone? All alone? But it's so funny, because normally she's like hanging out with Nick or I, like in the office, or just kind of in her little chair in the other, other room. But the fact she's in this room all alone, taking a little nap, I think it's so funny. But yeah, very excited to be back, spending more time with her. And I just want warmer weather so I can take her outside on more walks, but I'll probably bundle up at some point and take her on one. But yeah, back to the computer. Hello, puppy. Alrighty, so we are on to our second meal of the day, our pre-workout meal, then sat at the desk, bunch of work for the last couple hours, so very productive, which is awesome. And now we're gonna have our pre-workout snack. I almost forgot to film because I'm a little bit out of practice, but we have our protes right here. It is two packs of quick oats. And once again, I'll do a full day of eating on the bulk here shortly, but um, it's two packs of these, oh, whoops, maple brown sugar. Uh, reduced sugar from Kroger, uh, very cheap and honestly tastes great. Then we're gonna add one scoop of our Transparent Labs. This is the chocolate. I either use milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Mix that up, a little bit of creamy peanut butter, some almond milk to help mix in that protein, and then one banana on top. I already let Maisie lick the peanut butter knife so she is very happy. You happy? You got your peanut butter? Did you get your peanut butter? <laughs> no, you already got some. But yeah, so that is the pre-workout meal. I'm ahead of the gym. I'm not gonna take you guys because I feel like I've given you guys a ton of workout footage. Basically, I think the last like six videos in a row were just me working out. So I figured I might save that for maybe a vlog with Katie this weekend or something like that. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead, head to the gym. But yeah, um, also ignore the hair. I feel like my hair's in a weird spot too where it's like I was doing it forward and front and now I'm kind of pushing it to the side. So ignore that but um yeah pre-workout meal down also real quick so repping the barbell sweatshirt right here barbell is still doing the giveaway i mentioned before where every dollar you spend on barbell apparel it enters you into a giveaway of fifteen thousand dollars for the month of january ten thousand of that is going to be rogue home gym equipment and then five thousand of that is going to be more barbell apparel so if you're looking to upgrade your fitness apparel or honestly just general apparel like they have some great jeans anything pants as well as some tops i personally love the henley as well as as the um, stealth hoodie. This is actually like a, a wool hoodie or like a cotton hoodie. But yeah, every dollar you spend enters you into that giveaway. Use the link in the description to shop. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, down this meal, and I'll catch you guys post-workout. We've made it back from the gym and now it's time for our post-workout meal. Something very, very simple, nostalgic that I personally really still enjoy. It's chicken and potatoes. This is about 350 grams of rust potatoes eight ounces of chicken. The chicken, I just cook up in batches about two pounds. So if I cook up two pounds of chicken, that's four meals worth, because eat one, each one, not eat one, each one is gonna be about eight ounces. And then I also had my carrots all ready while the potatoes were in the air fryer, because I pretty much come home, put the potatoes in the air fryer right away, and then I'll kind of 
put my gym gear away, charge things, stuff like that. And we're gonna also pair that with an apple, but these are really small, so I think I'm actually gonna go with two apples, because normally I have one big one, but these ones are like little itty bitty ones, so we go with two of those. And that is the post-workout meal. Also a big thing here is after this meal, I think I'll have like, let me double check, but I once again, I'll do a full day of eating for you guys, but I think it's like almost 150 grams of protein, if not a little bit more than that. Plus I had two servings of fruits and vegetables, right? Cause banana and an apple and then the carrots and the bell pepper. So let's see here. If I go ahead and have, yeah, so my first three meals come out to, oops, come out to be, Let's see, okay, yeah, so I got 130 grams of protein. Oh, okay, yeah, because um, I'm not having as many eggs in the morning at the moment. Uh, but yeah, 130 grams of protein already. So that pretty much means I only need, my goal right now is about 150, 160 grams of protein. I only need like 20 grams of protein left in the day and I already have all my fruits and vegetables hit. So pretty much I can eat whatever I want um, at the end of the day. I can maybe have a Greek yogurt, tip my protein, and then whatever else I want. Typically it's another full meal like you guys will see later today. But I like to have that flexibility at the end of the day, now that prep's over, to have meals with my girlfriend, my family, go out to dinner, whatever that is, knowing that I already hit my protein for the day, I already got my fruits and vegetables for the day, and I already had pretty much all whole foods, and now I can kind of enjoy the last maybe six, 700 calories of my day with really whatever I want. And right now, I'm having some pasta, so you guys will see that later. But yeah, post workout meal, we got Maisie hanging out, probably hoping for some food, and also, after I work out, I basically go back to work. So I am very blessed with my current situation of being able to kind of train when I want. And right now to avoid the crowds, the post work uh, and the new year's resolutioners, which once again, props to them. I love that they're going. Uh, but personally, I like um, when the gym's not super crowded. So I have the ability to basically split my day in half into two work blocks. So um, I'll basically work all morning. I'll go to the gym once again around maybe one-ish. Go to the gym right now it's 310 so about two hours between going to the gym warming up working out getting some steps in and then cooking my post-workout meal and i'll basically sit down and work until 8 or 9 p.m maybe with throw a walk in there something like that so we'll probably take her in a little bit but yeah blessed to be able to do that if you don't have the ability to go during the day and the gym is really busy for you don't forget about things like supersets feel free to kind of move your workouts around or i should say your exercises around to what's available to you and at the end of the day, hopefully you enjoy the gym. Maybe it's a social event. You can see some people post work. And um, yeah, without further ado, I am hungry. So I'm going to eat and then go back to the computer and eventually take her on a W-A-L-K. And the time has come to take this one on a walk. Maisie, do you want to go for a walk? Do you go for a walk? Yeah. So we're going to go for a walk. Yes, I'm bundled up. We now have our sweatshirt. We have a jacket over top. We got our hat. We got our gloves because it is cold out. And I always forget how dark it gets. Or no, how how early it is when it starts to get dark here. So we have to take a little bit of break from our work. We're working on the cookbook 2.0. Lots of recipes, new, new recipes coming out. We're working on the breakfast section right now. We're going to take her on a quick walk. And that not wraps up my day, but that's kind of like the last activity I do. Then I just come home, I'll shower, maybe I'll sauna tonight, have another meal, and then pretty much just hang out on my computer, um, maybe watch an episode of a TV show, maybe some One Piece, something like that. But first thing we need to do is go take Maisie on a walk. You excited? I hope so, because it's cold. Did you have a good walk? Did you have a good walk? I hope so. All right, made it back from the walk. Yeah, a little bit cold. It is kind of snowing. It's just like some flurries, nothing sticking. Hopefully at some point this winter time we'll have some snow because I do really enjoy the snow. I don't like the sleet. I don't like the cold. When it snows, I am a fan. But yeah, Maisie got her steps in. I hit my 10,000 steps already. So we are pretty much checking over boxes. We got our workout done today. We got our 10,000 steps. We got our fruits and veg. We got our protein. Good day so far. Gonna head back to the computer and yeah, knock out some more work. Touch with you guys probably around dinner time and wrap up the day. It's time to put together our final meal. So we did sauna and now it's time for dinner. Did a little bit more work. It's almost eight o'clock and my goal each day is to be done by about 8.30 with my work so I can have time to actually unwind. This is um, pretty much a typical day, I'd say most Monday through Fridays, unless I'm visiting Katie, then when she gets home from work, we'll do something, we'll go make dinner or just hang out and I will work maybe a little bit less, not as late. But honestly, when I'm home, um, not even mon just Monday through Friday, honestly, pretty much seven days a week, I'm doing the same stuff. Obviously, the key to what I like is the flexibility. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some strawberries, some melons, some blueberries in there. So basically a bunch of fruit. And then I prepped um, some tortellini and some ground beef earlier in the week. 
Um, it does not look very appetizing at the moment because it is just refrigerated. I need to heat this up, but it is very simple. It's some cheese tortellini. It is some 90-10 ground beef and then some red sauce. So literally three ingredients. You boil the tortellini, you cook the ground beef, you put it all together, and I made five of those to eat throughout the week just because when it comes to dinner time, I honestly like meal prepping and it just makes things super easy, convenient, quick, and easy. But yeah, as I said, that's pretty much what my day looks like on this current bulk. I would say at least... I would say six out of seven days a week, occasionally on the weekends when, if Katie's visiting or I'm going up there, we'll do something a little bit different. Once again, I don't know, whatever it is, whether it be like go to a Bengals game, um, with football going on, well, unless the Bengals are out of the playoffs, unfortunately, or we'll figure out, okay, where we go work out together or just a bunch of random stuff. But typically, yeah, I pretty much work all day, uh, but I absolutely love what I do between client check-ins, making videos for you guys, content, um, going to the gym, obviously I'm blessed to be able to go when I do go, so I have some flexibility there. I'm gonna see if we have any Fresca or Diet Coke left. No, it's completely empty. So it looks like I need to go to the grocery store tomorrow because um, typically I'll have a diet soda with my dinner as well. But like I said, I'll do a full day of eating for you guys sometime in the next couple of days since I am working on recipes from the new cookbook. It's my diet kind of changes day to day. If I'm making recipes, I make three recipes that day or none. Um, like today, I didn't make any recipes, just kind of ate what I normally eat. But um, yeah, without further ado, I'll wrap things up here. Just a little bit of a kind of, I guess, a bulking day in the life, that kind of thing, catch up with you guys. But any questions, as always, leave them down in the comments below. Right now, the plan is to bulk for at least the next five months until May and maybe run a little bit mini cut uh, in June or July in the summer. Otherwise, we're trying to add as much mass and strength as possible. So follow along for the journey. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Peace.